All right, let's move on to face products. I have several cream blush products to share with you. Apparently, this has been kind of my new interest lately. So every time there's a new cream blush out, I'm like, ooh, I gotta try that. So um, the first one that I tried out was just a new shade of the Thrive Cosmetics. These are lip, cheek, and body color. I don't know why you would ever put one of these colors on your body, but there we go. Um, they're not for your eyes. So the nude sticks ones you can use on your eyes. These are not for your eyes, but the shade I tried is Olivia. Now, um, again, this is a shade thing. I don't love this shade all on its own. Now on the back of my hand, at first I was like, oh my word, I'm going to hate this. But once I blended it in, it's actually a really soft, it's a little more pink than peach. Looks like, well, maybe there it doesn't look too peach, but in person it looks pretty peach, but it has some gold shimmer. But the formulation on these is really nice. On the other end, you do also have a nice soft brush, just like you have on the nude sticks ones. So this shade though, not my favorite. However, the shade that I do love is called Dion and it is this one. So if you're interested in these, I would recommend this shade more so than this one. This one is also matte, but oh my goodness. So what I've been doing though, is I have been mixing the two of those together, and that is the cheek color combination that I'm wearing today, and I do love the two of those combined. The formulation though is really nice, it dries down, it does not remain tacky. It has more of a powdery finish to it than the Nude Sticks one. So I really do love the formulation of these. All right, the last cream blush that I have to share with you or kind of liquidy blush is this one by Flower Beauty. This is the Blush Balm. And this particular shade is Pinched. And my best friend, this was another thing she gave me for Christmas and I really love this formulation. I think it is so good. I have one other color. I think it's like spice cinnamon or something like that. Um, but the formula, you can see it's a much more of a gel formulation. So it's so much more forgiving and easier to work with. Now this particular shade you can see there is pretty light. So it does work for me when I have like no sunless tanner on, but I've also been enjoying mixing it with the cinnamon shade that I have, but really good formulation. So if you want something that's a little more user friendly, a little more budget friendly, I would try out the Blush Bombs by Flower Beauty. This next product is from MAC and it is one of their extra dimension skin finishes and this is Beaming Blush. And this has been on my list to try for a long time. I've seen pictures of it online. And again, Boxy Pop-Up had this at a greatly reduced price. So I thought this was the perfect time to try it. And it looks like a really pretty peachy shimmery highlight. And the formulation is nice and smooth, but on the finger and on the hands, this just has such a strong gold flash that I just have not been reaching for this hardly at all. I find when I use this, I have to mix it with another highlighter. So the formulation is not bad. It's just that this color is just too yellowy gold for me. It might work better in the summertime, but for now it's not going in the darling category. Something else that was not a darling for me, and I'm actually putting it in a dud category, is the Ofra Banana Powder. Now, this has a slight scent of bananas. <laughs> yes, they intentionally added that, it's in the description. So this powder is meant to kind of color correct, kind of be a final step to help color correct, especially darkness or under the eyes. And it is overall pretty translucent and can be brightening, but I just find even though it feels pretty soft and smooth, this just does not work for me. I've tried it with several different concealers and I feel like it makes them all look dry and cakey. And as far as on the rest of my face, I don't feel like it's brightening enough on my wintertime skin to really do much. So unfortunately, this was a dud for me.
And one other dud was the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. I have the shade 120 Fair. Again, something I've tried in multiple different scenarios to kind of help blot my face through the day or to help set my makeup. And I just do not like the finish that it leaves on my skin. I don't feel like it really helped um, keep my oiliness at bay. And yet when I would put it on to try and blot, I felt like I could see the powder in my pores. That's not a good look. So for me, this was just not a win. All right, one last face product and then we'll move into lips. And that is the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. I have tried a couple of different brands. NYX is the one that I used to use all the time, but I really love this. And I know you've seen me pull this in several different tutorials. And what these are for is just to help change your foundation color to match your skin tone. So there's yellow, there's blue, there's a warm kind of brown shade, and then there's white. And white obviously is to help lighten foundation shades. So I love this because it doesn't change the formulation. It doesn't dilute the foundation at all. It just adds color pigment. So I love it because I have some very different summer shades of foundation that normally I can't wear in the winter time, but put in a little bit of this and I can make it work for my wintertime pale skin. Now moving on to lips. I didn't initially think I tried very many lip products and then I put them all in my little box here and I actually have several. So first off, we're gonna start out with a dud and this came in my boxy term. This is the Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask. Now, there's a lot of good things going on here. The ingredients are really good and the smell is divine. It smells like apple. Oh my goodness, it's such a great smell. And the um, initial look of it and the feel on the lips initially is really good, but I am telling you, this is like the thinnest lip mask I've ever tried. It, for me, sinks in and disappears so quickly. And personally, I don't feel like it leaves behind very moisturized lips. So therefore, it's not really doing its job, but it does smell wonderful. Now, another lip product that, oh, I really wanted to love and I thought it was gonna be awesome, but kind of fell short for me is the It Cosmetics Pillow Lips Solid Serum. All right, so first off, the good news. The good news is um, this color, first of all, is beautiful. This is the shade Wistful. It's a really nice kind of dusty nude shade, dusty pink nude, okay? Um, it's very sheer, but slightly buildable. So I had to kind of layer quite a lot because um, the natural pigment color on my lips is pretty close to this shade. So it comes off very nude on me, which is not a bad thing. And you can see it does have a really nice shine. And the texture, if you've never tried a solid serum lip product, it is a little bit on the thicker side, but it's not real tacky. So generally, I think that's a good sign because usually that means it's going to stick around and hydrate the lips for a long time. This is supposed to have really good anti-aging ingredients, moisturizing ingredients. You click it up from the bottom, but honestly, this did not last very long, first of all, on my lips. And while initially it made my dry lips feel really nice and kind of instant moisture, but once it was gone, it was gone and my lips did not have any lingering moisture left at all. And in fact, I almost felt like they were drier. So I just wish that this had more long lasting benefits. It's really nice when it's on my lips, but again, it doesn't last very long and I just don't feel like it leaves that moisture behind that I'm basically using this for. All right, in the lip category, I also tried out two of the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist 
uh, intense color beautifying lipsticks. Now I have heard several people rave about these. These are the ones that come in a tube like this. And I think it's very unique. I love that it has the color of the lipstick on the bottom. And when you pull off the lid, it's just a regular lipstick bullet. Now the formulation is nice and smooth. And this shade is 156 Classy Lace. And initially I was like, well, okay. I knew I was get I was ordering a nude shade and I thought, okay, I think it's okay. But what happened is I put this on my lips and then I smelled it and I went, oh no, oh no, I, I don't like that smell at all. It has surprisingly a perfumey scent to it. And Makeup Forever products, I just have never thought as being scented at all because it is more of a makeup artist brand. And they try like, like MAC does, they try to dial back the scent and the fragrance added in products. But this lipstick, it's a perfume scent that gives me a headache. So that is one huge drawback for me. And then I felt like this shade in particular was just nothing spectacular, nothing out of the ordinary. I have a lot of nude lipsticks. So I thought, all right, I, I think this is just gonna go back. So the scent on it and just the shade that I picked out, I it just wasn't a win. Now, I did also at the same time order one uh, that was in a special edition color. This is the shade um, Shining Garnet. And oh my goodness, I'm keeping this one because it was half price and you will see why. Okay, so the outside packaging is sparkly, but look at this, wait for it. Oh my goodness. Do you just see that glitter and shimmer? <laughs> when I first rolled this up, I was like, oh my goodness. I, it made me want to just rub that glitter right on my lips. But this shade is really beautiful. It really is. It is a pretty strong kind of pinky. I would say it's more pink than red, almost closer to fuchsia. But do you look just see that shimmer through there and shine. It's really pretty. It does though have that very strong perfumey scent. So when I've worn this, I've had to kind of top it with something else just so I'm able to wear it. So I'm really bummed about that because I think I would wear it more often, but for the color and the uniqueness of that color, I'm putting it in my darlings category, but the scent, oh my goodness, that is not a win for me. All right, two more lip products to go. I know, we're getting there. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath, and I have the shade Peachy Plump, and this was a free gift with purchase. First of all, the color is beautiful. It's my kind of color. The applicator is kind of interesting. Let's see, let me get some of the product off and you can see it looks kind of like, I guess, like a heart, kind of a weird shape there. It's got like a cutout there in the top. Um, but I actually have really enjoyed this. It has a peppermint smell and it is slightly cooling on the lips, but I don't feel like it's a very strong tingle or anything on the lips at all. Um, the color is pretty sheer. It has much more of a gold shift that comes through. And I do find this to be, I would say, it'd be in the medium length of wear. It's not quite as long wearing as the Buxom lip polishes are, but it has a tiny little bit of tackiness good shine. And I actually feel like this leaves behind a good little bit of moisture. So it's a good product. I would put it in the mediocre um, category just because it is pretty pricey, but I have been enjoying it. So there you go. Now the last product, I have two shades and this is by City Lips. So you saw me review before the glosses and I do like those. These are the matte lip sticks, I guess. They just say matte. Um, I have two shades for you. Let me show you. These are so interesting. Okay, so 
I don't think I've ever tried a matte liquid lipstick that is also plumping. So when I first put this on my lips, I was like, wow, that feels very cool. And are they supposed to be plumpers? Yes, they are. So they have a very cooling sensation on the lips. And let me just swatch both of these side by side. And so the first time I wore this more neutral shade, which is Blush Rose, and then I also have Rosy Mauve. So let me put these down. Okay, so um, I put this one on and then went to have dinner. I put on a mask and everything. And this wore so well. And I was shocked at how long that cooling sensation lasted on the lips. I would say at least like an hour or so. Okay, so I just let those swatches dry. I used my little fan to dry them out further. And so now if I take my finger through them, you'll see they do still move. So they aren't completely transfer proof, but oh my goodness, they last so long on the lips. So if you're wearing a mask that is away from your mouth, um, and you know, it occasionally touches, you're really not going to have a ton of movement and these are going to last really well. If you're wearing a mask that is flush up against your lips, these are still going to come off on them. But, um, that aside, they are really long wearing and for a liquid lipstick, I find these to be far less drying than many of those out there. Now, personally, this is the way that I prefer to wear a liquid lipstick, one that does not dry down completely, because I find that those are just so hard on your lips, and many times they wear away funny in the center of the lips. So these, you can still kind of press your lips together throughout the day and kind of get a little more color going there. So I don't feel like they wear away strangely, but they do last really well on the lips. So these, as far as a liquid lipstick goes, these are some of the most comfortable that I've ever used. And that is it. Oh my goodness. I didn't think I had too many products. It's a good thing I took January off, isn't it? But thank you as always so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. It's always fun to share with you my favorite products, but I think it's also just as important to share with you those products that don't work for me. Now, that doesn't mean they're bad products and they might be your favorites if they are great. I hope that you enjoy them. But hopefully the thoughts that I shared with you today have given you just some extra information if you've been interested in any of these products. Hopefully now you can go in and make an informed purchase decision. Thank you as always so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.